Test is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, and welcome to today's webinar sponsored by T-Spines and Mexsoft about how to simply and affordably create and manufacture organic designs. I am your host, Matt Cedarberg from T-Spines, Inc., and um, we're also here with Anita Annan, the Senior Vice President of Sales at Mexsoft. Hello, everyone. Um, I have here with me Uday from our uh, support group who will help you answer any questions regarding RhinoCam. Um, we will be uh, waiting here online for any questions that we could help you out with. Okay, great. And then our presenter today is Rainer Schmidt, the owner of Complex Consulting. Hi, everybody. It's an honor to uh, present those two products, which we use to uh, earn our money with. Okay. So today, Rainer will show the complete process of how to create a simple organic model with T-splines and then use RhinoCam to lay out the tool paths, and then he'll actually show um, machining the part. So just to introduce the, the products before we turn the time over to Rainer, um, T-Spines is a product that greatly speeds up the creation of high-quality organic designs. RhinoCam is powerful cam software, and both products plug right into Rhino to provide a simple, affordable solution for creating organic designs. So here's just a few examples. And also, before we get into this, um, housekeeping, Everyone, all the attendees are muted throughout the webinar, but we really uh, look forward to interacting with you. And the way to do that is to just type in questions on the side of your screen. And throughout the webinar, then we'll be typing back answers, and also we'll, we'll be asking them to Rainer as that's, as that's appropriate. So please ask questions throughout the webinar. So just some examples of, um, of using T-Spines and RhinoCam together. Uh, JEH Guitars uses T-Spines to make the distinctive shape of their guitars then creates the tool path with RhinoCam and then goes ahead and, and actually machines the, the uh, guitars. The Animax Designs uses T-Spines to design parts for animatronics characters, then machines a mold using RhinoCam. And then here's just an example of one of our free T-Spines models you can get on our website. A user emailed us back a photo that he machined the part in metal using RhinoCam. So you can see there's a lot of different ways to use RhinoCam to, to make physical objects. And it's one thing to see images of that, but it's another to actually see someone take a design through the entire process. So that's what Rainer will do um, over the next 45 minutes. Um, so just to more properly introduce Rainer and complex, in Complex Consulting. Complex Consulting is a service provider offering metal fabrication, fine woodworking, casting, CNC prototyping, 3D printing, and other services. They specialize in complex hybrid projects. One neat recent project was working with Mesh Masters to design a 3D scanner rig, which allows the capture of mesh data in real time. Complex Consulting also offers training in 3D modeling, rendering, and toolpath generation with a host of software packages. They train both on-site and at their headquarters in New Jersey, which is just 20 minutes away from the Penn Station in Manhattan. When they train you at their headquarters, the metal and woodworking routers are available to actually produce the parts created during the training. So I'd like to thank Rainer for actually volunteering to put on this webinar with us. And on a final note, I'll just like to mention that at the end of the webinar, as a special thank you for staying around, we'll offer a valuable coupon uh, just for webinar attendees. So with that, let's make Rainer the presenter. <clears throat> So um, I guess um, I'm live now. Uh, so, yeah, just go ahead and click showing to show your screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're all all good to go. Okay, yeah, you look great. Good, excellent. So um, I welcome everybody for my, uh, to my little presentation here. Um, as Matt mentioned, we do a lot and make a lot around the 3D theme. Um, here as a background, a recently machined part. Um, which is part of a door we're producing together with a uh, associate. Um, and I just have to uh, close my little screen here without uh, getting it into my way, the invisible screen. Then um, here's a piece of jewelry I'm personally working on, which has been commissioned in the meantime. And let's go right back into our original theme, which is Rhino 3D and 
Macsoft and T-splines. Um, I just as a very small excourse because I know there are quite a few people who have signed up who come from other modeling packages. I just <coughs> want to introduce a very quickly made model here in this case in Cinema 4D. Uh, it could be a Modo or any other application and I exported this as a polygonal model into uh, a Rhino and takes this instead of starting to model something very quickly uh, manually to start off to show a very few very basic uh, capabilities uh, of uh, T-splines. Um, and the first capability, of course, is the, ab uh, the ability to convert into a, a T-spline mesh, which now has happened. Uh, obviously, uh, not a lot has happened, except uh, the uh, shading errors have disappeared, which were there because of normals uh, imported from the other application. But now with uh, control shift, uh, control space, which switches on the um, T-spline uh, plugin, uh, and a uh, smooth toggle, you can see instantly that we have a, the ability to show an incredibly complex organic uh, shape. And this is not prepared, this is real time, this is not taking ages, this is not uh, uh, taking a lot of time. And I can now feel free to manipulate this uh, uh, object in any way I want to, in, a, in, a, in either the organic uh, fashion or uh, in the uh, original uh, uh, fashion. And I can always switch on uh, the uh, a point display so I see the control frame. I can select points. Uh, I can distort the mesh uh, in real time to meet um, design requirements or just experiment with the shape. And the uh, stability of this plugin, we had a, we, we did a, uh, um, a cold run for this presentation, and we did a lot of evil things in that in that that pre-run. And uh, I always find myself after hours um, slightly horrified that I forgot to save all day. So I don't want to go too far into this um, um, pushing around of uh, geometry here because it it has really everything. Uh, somebody wants to see in a, uh, a sort of a box, box modeling uh, um, paradigm. And together with Rhino, it is providing CAD precision, which is usually not the case in uh, those 3D animation packages like Cinema 4D Maya or a Modo per se. So uh, now I'll just leave this model as it is and go back to. Uh, the original project we uh, have chosen for this uh, presentation. Hey, Rainer, just to yes. step in. Thanks for that brief introduction of T-splines, and and as you'll you'll see throughout the rest of Rainer's presentation, he'll be focused really on some very basic T-splines functions, just to kind of get an introduction of how it can be used uh, to machine something. We'll have time for more more in-depth T-spine questions at the end of the webinar if, if you have any of those. And I just read just some feedback. Um, there's there's getting some people are getting a little bit of feedback. If you want to maybe push the mic a little bit farther away from your from your face, then we might get a little bit better sound quality. Uh, how's that? Is that better? Um, yeah, maybe just a little bit closer. It's a little bit faint. Um, <clears throat> bend, bend. How's that? Uh, that sounds great. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Excellent. That sounds good. Thank you. So basically, um, we all know that uh, you can use, and I'll just uh, quickly do it um, uh, because I have prepared uh, a very, very uh, a quick uh, demonstration graphic here. Um, you can use any bit image as a background image uh, for Rhino and then uh, take the uh, curve tools to uh, sketch around the geometry very, I mean, uh, the, the, the design uh, which you receive very quickly and kind of create a, uh, a blocked out um, uh, view of this, uh, which you can of course then also